Right. So you've probably heard or maybe even seen the Netflix documentaries with Harry and Meghan? But, I'm not going to be talking about them in this video, I want to get straight on to Christopher Boozy. Christopher Boozy, is the t-boy who has only ever worked for two years and three months in tech. The rest of his working life, he's had his own failed businesses, not to mention being caught up in three Bitcoin scams. Now, in the Netflix documentaries, he claims to be a tech entrepreneur, defending Meghan Markle, although some would call her Princess Pinocchio. This is the same Christopher Boozy who is in fact, the very person who's been spouting off hateful comments about the royal family. He may think we've all forgotten about what he said, but we haven't. So, let's find out. And, if you want to keep up to date with all the Boozy stuff that I will be uploading, please don't forget to press that subscribe button. So, amongst Boozy's many hateful tweets, he is called the Prince of Wales, a balding Muppet. Boozy. Let me tell you something. You are most certainly not, an oil painting yourself. Just look at you. Appearing in the Netflix trailer, he claims to have set up Bot Sentinel to combat disinformation and harassment. But, let's think about this disinformation and harassment for a moment. Boozy only focuses on people who are paying him. For example, both Markle and Amber Heard have paid him to seek out negative content. But, he doesn't care if he is in fact hateful towards anyone, and he doesn't care if anyone is hateful to anyone else, if they're not paying him. He claims that his company has researched the trolling and harassment of Meghan, highlighting racism and other derogatory comments made about her. But what is rather interesting is that Boozy, himself has been racist. He's been racist towards Nate. Nate is the lawyer that has brought on one of the defamation lawsuits against Boozy. And, here's the thing. Nate is the same color as Boozy. But Boozy doesn't seem to care about that at all. He also doesn't seem to care that he's launched personal attacks on, many members of the royal family, by making hateful comments about their appearance. Again, look at Boozy, a 47-year-old that is no oil painting. If anyone commented on his appearance, he tweet immediately to his followers that he's being harassed. Boozy is very much an attention seeker. Okay, so in March 2021 he tweeted about Prince William being a balding Muppet. This prompted his deluded followers to reply with insulting remarks about the prince. That's exactly what he does when he needs attention. And in October, Boozy made comments suggesting that William and Catherine looked older than their years, comparing them unfavorably with Prince Harry and Meghan saying that they look more like Harry and Meghan's aunt and uncle. Well let's not forget Boozy, you look older than your age. I mean, just look at you. What Boozy seems to forget is that William and Kate work. Harry and Meghan just grift, moan and complain that they are hard done by. Harry and Meghan, and in fact Boozy, don't actually know what hard work actually is. Perhaps that's why Boozy and Bot Sentinel have been at the top of the Grifties Awards? And, Boozy is the biggest grifter of them all. Now even though his comments have been purely toxic, he seems to believe that it's absolutely fine. Boozy claims that this is okay because it doesn't affect his research in the hate campaign against Meghan Markle. Seriously, I think that it does. After all, he puts his own biases and prejudices into Bot Sentinel, and this is no different. After all, he even tried to call the Pope out until lots of people complained. The funny thing is, once the people complained, Boozy blocked them all, then suddenly, faster than lightning, the Pope's score quickly changed. Highly suspicious don't you think? And, when the Queen passed away in September, Boozy criticized people who he claimed were trying to portray Meghan as some sort of harlot, and tweeted that King Charles cheated on Diana. He also said that all Meghan did was marry the man she loves while being black. What Boozy and Princess Pinocchio fail to remember is that her father, Thomas Markle is Caucasian. So, let's be honest and say that she isn't black. She's mixed race. She can identify herself as being black, but it doesn't mean she is. I could actually identify myself as being a unicorn, but it doesn't mean that I am one. Now, from his kitchen in his rented condo in North Bergen, Boozy produced three reports about Meghan. He said that the investigation came after he shared a positive tweet about Harry and Meghan, yet he received hateful messages from supposed anti-Meghan accounts. His completely biased search revealed 83 accounts were responsible for 70% of the abuse on Twitter. However, what he failed to acknowledge in these reports, is that he is the one that contributes to a lot of hateful comments. And, aside from the hateful comments towards the royal family, 
Boozy has also targeted, harassed and doxed other people too. But, does Bot Sentinel pick up on all of Boozy's hateful tweets? Absolutely not. But, just like parasites, he won't go away unless he's treated. So, each and every time he makes claims and spews his venom, it is one more thing to add to the investigations. One more thing to add to the civil lawsuits. And one more thing to add to the criminal cases. He may think he's gotten away with it, but it looks like the soil and the hole he's dug for himself is slowly starting to cave in. I will be uploading several videos over the next coming weeks, and we may see the hole starting to fill up on Debuzi. So, please let me know your thoughts in the comments box below. And until next time, have a great day and thank you for being here.